So we've all felt at one point or another in our career the perverse effect of the imposter syndrome. Several people contact us on a weekly basis to know more about the DAC because they truly are interested in online training, but yet only a small portion of these people take action. So what happens to the others? As a matter of fact, we do take these people to heart because we know that many of them have a real potential and are mostly shying away behind the syndrome of the imposter. Mastering a subject is one thing, teaching it to others is a whole different story. It takes courage, confidence, and a whole lot of self-awareness. Most of those who suffer from this complex do not call themselves imposters. Yet, as soon as someone speaks to them about it, they instantly identify with this feeling. Ironically enough, the imposter syndrome usually is coming from gifted, hyper-performing, competitive people aware of their limitation, but slightly suffering from a lack of self-esteem. Men as women, one does not escape more than the other. The imposter syndrome is linked to the fear of success and prevents people from tapping into their full potential. Without knowing it, they're convinced that their reputation is overrated, thus preventing them to leave their comfort zone. They simply live in doubt and think that one day they will be unmasked and that someone will prove their incapacity. It's this delusional fear of being unmasked that drives imposters to implement strategies to compensate for their insecurities. The two main strategies that reinforce the imposter syndrome are overdoing and underdoing. The overdoing strategy is to prepare or work excessively, to attribute whatever success they get to the exceptional amount of work they put in and not give themselves the credit they are rightfully owed. As for the strategy of underdoing, it leads the person to very badly prepare, which gives them an explanation in the event of failure or even attribute their eventual success simply to luck. Now comes the question, how can you overcome the imposter syndrome and go ahead with your training project? We did the research and here are some avenues that can be explored. So first and foremost, become aware of your devaluing thoughts and expose the nonsense that you're using to justify them. To do this, it may be useful to validate your perceptions with a mentor, a coach, or even a colleague with whom you feel confident, who will set the record straight with you with no sugar coating. Let them help you put things in context and have a more objective view of everything. Allow yourself to make mistakes. So contrary to popular beliefs, the one true factor in someone's success is not his or her intelligence nor the skills that he or her has, but rather his or her ability to persist in time of hardships. Allow yourself to learn and grow as a person. This awareness can make all the difference in how we see ourselves and help us be more forgiving during time of learning periods. Make mistakes, learn from them, and do not blame yourself. Focusing your attention on your talents will allow you to have a more positive outlook on yourself. It's that simple. Take action. It's important to learn the lessons in order to understand what's best for one's self-esteem. Taking action is a key factor in overcoming the imposter syndrome. Give yourself precise, measurable, realistic personal goals with a clear deadline and also in line with your aspirations. When you define an action plan, it is easier to find the courage to do each step rather than tackle the project as a whole. Take time to acknowledge the progress that you are making. These few techniques should help you overcome your imposter syndrome and from there on, you'll be one step closer to publishing your first online course. Keep in mind, what you know is valuable to someone. We're all the expert of one person and the student of another. You no longer have to compare yourself to the elite you're looking up to. And it's best you rather focus your expertise on whom it can be useful. Leave aside your concerns, own your knowledge, own your expertise. And how about you just give it a try? What have you got to lose anyway? This being said, I'll see you soon on the deck.